My name's Andrew Kay, I'm Chief Engineer for the McLaren Elva. I've worked on lots of different projects with McLaren. I uh, started with the 570, then the 720, I worked on the Senna, and now I get to be Chief Engineer for this car, which is just about the most exciting project I could have hoped to be a part of at the moment. So with the Elva, we wanted to make a really beautiful car, but also a really clean and simple car. So we've worked really hard between the engineering and the design teams to really minimise the number of panels and parts that we have in the, in the car. So there's fundamentally only three really big carbon fibre panels that make up the extent of the car. So that's this large front clamp, goes from side to side all the way back to the front of the door shuts. The body sides on left and right side make up the other two, but it's meant that we've really been able to minimise the number of panel gaps on the car and given it a really, really clean and elegant look. One of the smaller panels that's small but extremely difficult to make has been really challenging is this door outer panel because it's not actually just the door outer. Here it incorporates part of the ducting system which I'll talk about in a, in a moment. You can see it's, we want to make this as seamless as possible through this really complicated geometry. So it's incredibly difficult to make that in carbon, um, particularly as we've got this air path coming through it. There's actually three routes for air to come into the high temperature radiators. The high temperature radiators that cool the engine, they sit in here at an angle to the airflow. They're fed very obviously from this duct that's come along and been guided by these surfaces. The, the air stays attached to these surfaces and feeds directly in. That feeds the top roughly one third of the radiator. This duct that you see in the front of the door feeds the centre of the radiator and the air comes in here, comes all the way through the door um, it then has to jump from the door into the body side to complete its path to the centre of the radiator. There's then a third route that starts from just inboard of the front wheel and comes all the way through this section of the body side and feeds the bottom of the radiator. So three separate paths feeding the engine, engine cooling. 